Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kayleigh Allen and welcome to a very chilled out report with me. Listen, I'm actually really unwell. I don't know what is wrong with me, right? But for the past few days, I've been really dizzy. And I mean dizzy on my feet. If I just sit and do stuff, I'm okay. But if I move around, I'm really dizzy. To top it off, I've got a really sore throat. And if I sound a bit nasal, that is why. But anyway, today, do you remember this guy? You might not. And if you don't, I don't blame you. So this here is a not so amazing looking philodendron plowmanii eye. Now I don't know the name of this plowmanii eye. It is essentially the plowmanii eye without the silver on the surface of it. So I'm just going to call it for the sake of this video plowmanii eye dark, right? But don't take that as the actual name. I'm not here making up names. I just know it has another name that I'm absolutely not going to use. Please don't write that in the comments either by the way. So basically this plowmanii eye, and I will get out of this pot, it was a lot longer than what it is. It actually had a merry stem like this long. So I cut it it to the point where the foliage starts because it's had a rough time it's been in the wall and I popped it in here yesterday just because I wasn't going to film me taking it out of the wall so I've taken out the wall yesterday I've put it in here I've tried to stake it up because it's very floppy because obviously it's got no no basis to be in there and we're going to repot it today my only issue guys and we will get into this fully I only have a couple of pots now I need a white pot because this is for my house okay but I don't really have any good sized white pots. I think literally all of them are in use, which really annoys me because I didn't have that many big ones, but they're now in use. Now, will it fill this pot eventually? Yes, it'll be fine. But until then, I'm just going to have to have a big pot. So I'm going to use this pot here to illustrate a point in a moment, but I do have, and this really is too big. So you needn't leave a comment saying, oh my God, it's so big. It's like your shit's going to die. I know. It should be fine though, because my house is not as humid. So water is going to, you know, wick up a lot slower blah 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 blah. loads of evaporation I, I honestly think it's going to be okay so what I actually have and I've had this so long so long I cannot even tell you but this is a Lechuza what is it guys it's a four liter pot so it's one US gallon it's a big pot guys one gallon pot now I don't know if you can tell by the size of the pot this is in, it's it's not this size at all. But honestly, I looked around this shop and I don't think there's anything I can depot that will be worth it. There's one other thing. Let me just check this one thing because it might it might save our others. Let's just check this. Take no notice of what's in it. It's a very dead looking um, homolamina rubescence that reverted so it got left and neglected. But I do have this. That's close, right, to being the same size sort of as the pot that's in. The problem is the pot that's in is probably a bit small and it's probably, this is probably even smaller than that, right? Sorry, you can't see it. This one here. But the other one is probably too big. But you know what, guys? I always like to say on this channel, I will do it so you don't have to. So if it goes wrong, it goes wrong for me, and I can tell you. So I'm going to fill the whole thing with Lechuza Pon. Hopefully I've got enough. Ooh, might not have enough. I might not have enough. That's embarrassing. But that's what I'm going to try and do. This is very makeshift. This is very makeshift. I honestly thought I had more than what I did. And while we go through the video, I'm actually going to tell you a little bit about why I actually don't like these pots from Lechuza anymore and why I don't use them anymore. Because I do get a lot of questions on um, Lechuza, which is this brand, versus El Hall, which is this brand of self-watering pot. So I thought for the theme of the video, while I tackle this absolute beast, we can sort of go through the differences uh, and discuss, because why not? What I haven't done though, is I haven't got something to pour that liquor into. So I'm going to get a bucket really quickly. Oh my God, uh, that's not how you stand up. That's not how you stand up. Ah yes, in bucket. Okay, right. I'm literally going to have to order more Lechuza like tomorrow. It's not going to be good. I could make up my own, but it would take a while and we ain't got that amount of time. So certainly not putting it in coil or anything either. So worst case scenario, this probably is going to be a bit temporary and he will just have to be repotted when he gets a bit bigger. I don't know. Um, I'll discuss the state he's in while we go through. But for now, I think I will just put this lecker into here first because I think that's the first thing we need to do. So I'm going to do that. I have actually, I don't know if you can tell. Can you see what we're dealing with? Yeah, he's got a lean on. That's why he's been staked up because he's sort of been, he's been growing. Say this is where my living wall is, where I am. He's sort of been growing forward and out to get to the light. So he has, he's not super floppy. He's actually quite sturdy. He's just been sort of growing and leaning that way, if that makes any sense. So he will be fine, but he's just gonna, he's just gonna take a hot minute to be fine. So we'll take these out. These are just steaks I put in yesterday. So we didn't do what he's about to do now. I'll take that out. I'm wondering if I can just pull him out first. 
I put that into the bucket in the spirit of not making this and I'm just going to gently pull them out because like I say it was only put in yesterday it's not being properly put in as such and we will give them a little look see Ugh. right his roots aren't amazing won't lie won't lie they've they've been in the wall walls being neglected it's not being good so you can probably see here let's see if i can bring it to you while i've still got him see if i bring this here you can see what we're actually dealing with i cut this yesterday and it's nice and calloused off it's lovely and then we have these roots they're not completely done for but they're not in good condition right they're not completely rotted for anybody wondering this is actually that one's rotted there i think that one's not feeling good but a lot of them are okay they're just they're not in you know they're not in great condition so we're going to trim those and then we're going to see about potting them up so what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to lie him down on the floor like so i'm going to have to be as gentle as possible there's not a lot of ways I can do this. And I'm not sure you can see it very well, but I'm sure you can appreciate it. It's a very big plant. And my camera is set about as far as I can set it away from me as possible. So we're going to go through some of these and have a look. I don't know what inspired wanting the plant money eye in my house. I think I've always loved him. And he's, he needed to come out of the wall anyway. So I thought, you know what, why not? Let's just, let's just have him in the house. What I will say is, can you see from here? No. I'm moving back. Yeah. So if you see where the leaves are here, the leaf to petiole ratio is quite bad. Bad, and that's obviously due to a lack of light a lack of feed just a lack of everything so obviously i aim to improve that over the next few weeks so these will probably look crap but new ones will come out i have a plan for how i'm going to keep him in the house because i know he is a crawler um my plan is essentially as he grows bigger i'm going to just keep butt cutting him and then just you know rooting something else with the chunks and either selling that or gift it or do whatever i don't know giveaways i don't care that's my plan and it's just a plan I've recently come up with because I've had this conversation with a few guys before, but I don't really want to do poles in the house where I can help it. I don't like them. I don't want them. So that's what I'm going to probably do. But anyway, for now, I just want to look at these roots. Now I will try and, can I zoom you in for the purpose of cutting the root? Let's have a go. I know that isn't, this isn't the most fantastic view, but it's all I have. So let's go with this here and if I pop him here maybe if I zoom in now 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 you can see let me just tilt this down right like that and if I zoom you in oh is that zoomed in oh no okay that's all you get anyway you'll have to make do with that I'm afraid this is the problem you need two cameras for this right so I'm gonna look through all of these this is not good I can already see that that's come off so best to get it off I've said this in previous videos guys best to get it off I'm gonna take that one off as well you can kind of see the ones that are bad because they're actually darker brown than the ones that are okay again they're not great but they are absolutely alive like this one looks bad uh see it looks alive it looks firm but i can see some of the sheaths coming off so i'm actually just gonna remove it and it is what it is i really do not want to put it in this big ass pot but i'm not sure it's going to stand up properly in the other pot let's reserve decision making till we get there shall we and we'll see what we're dealing with because i actually think those roots are all right again they, they really aren't fantastic they've been so long neglected but i think we're going to be okay because crawlers are tough guys crawlers are really tough right let's take off some of the debris i'm supposed to have gloves on for this that is just gross let me put them on bah, bah, bah. go that's one the second one that is two right just pulling off some of this shit oh i've got liquor all over just pulling off some of the old sheaths because who cares the old bits of caterpillar just so i can really see what i'm getting into there right that's the new one love it love it love it honestly i've got access to all these plants in the shop i always like the plain ones <laughs> it's really weird right see to me they look okay they really do but i'm just so concerned about what to put it in because i honestly think if i just take this insert out because it's not helping us is it this looks do you know what I mean? This is tiny for this plant. You can see here, like root-wise root, root wise it might be, and I do always say like plant for your root mass, but I just think it's going to topple over. And the point is, if it's going to my house with multiple cats and things, I don't think I can risk that, guys. It might be worse off in the end. So I am going to try and do pond, but I might lecker it in the bottom so I don't have to use all of that pond. Maybe that's a, a good way of doing it. So while I have you zoomed in, I want to talk to you about something. So these pots here... Hang on, let me not use that one because I didn't prepare that one to use. These pots here are self-watering pots, right? They come from a company called Elho. Hopefully you can see it here. Sorry, I can't zoom in anymore. And you essentially get, yes, this is dirty. You have an outer pot and you have an insert. The insert here has a little dial with like min and max on it. And it's of a given size. 
you know, water can wick up through the bottom. Great, awesome. The thing I like about these is you can put them in any outer pot that fits, fits it in, essentially. So you can buy this just on its own and you can use your own outer pot, lovely. So I have white ones and they're just plastic, so you can get them quite cheap. But you can also use anything you want. You can also get a different coloured pot because El Hall also do different colours, which I think is also great. The thing about the Lechuza pots is, right, and again, it really is preference. Sorry, I'm just moving him out of the way. Apology. Move some of that shit out of the way. Love that. The thing about Lechuza is it's built completely different, right? So what you've got is that's going to be pond there. This, they give you a little bit of pond just for the bottom, which, I mean, I don't know why they do that. I think this was in the old days where they weren't just selling pond on its own. They were just saying, oh, well, this is the stuff for the bottom. But everyone started growing it, you know, just in pond. So I think that's what that is. But if I open this up, because I've had this, when I say I've had this for three years, guys, I really have. See if I can open this up. Please, please, please. Come on. Just rip it open. Right, so I've got a couple of things in there. But one of the things I've got in here is a bag of the choose upon them they suggest for the bottom that's all well and good then i have the top of the watering cylinder and another part of it that you build into here which basically i probably don't even need to use that because that's basically what it builds into here here's one i prepared earlier but i did not realize i had that in there so that's basically what that will do and it will sort of sit inside this pot here into the bottom so what happens is let me take this off Good Lord, can you see this? Yeah, you can if I keep it here. What happens is you take this pot. Yes, I know it's got crap in it. It doesn't matter for now. It does have, one thing I will say it does have, it has a drainage hole at the bottom here. So if you want to use it outdoors, you can. There's a plus point. But what you do is you put the bottom into that. That's where your water is going to sit inside this reservoir here, right? I will have to put this down for this part. And what you do is, you take this part here that you've constructed, so let's just assume I built it, and you sort of, is that right? That is right, but it's too high because it's for a different part, fair enough. So we will build another one. But basically you sit that into there and it will sit flush and there's your watering meter and it would look a bit like that, right? That's all well and good, but the problem with that is when you put your plant in, you can't empty any of the water, you can't flush it out. And what I will show you is, specifically with Lechuza Pond as well, they do tell you to rinse it, I think. But what happens is you get this nasty buildup in the bottom of your pot, right? Now with the l hole insert, you can change this. You can clean this separately. You can change the water. You can do whatever. Say you overfed, you can change it, whatever. You can't do it with these. And I don't... I don't dig them for that reason. I don't like the fact that you can't do that. So that's just something to be aware of when choosing a brand, I guess. So I'm actually going to point you a little further down, a little bit further out, because I don't think this is going to work very well. Two minutes, guys. Apologies, apologies, apologies. Maybe that might look a bit better. So those are my thoughts, and I wanted to relay them to you. And I know I get a lot of people saying like, yo, can we have a, a you know, the Chooser versus l Hole video? And honestly, you can. I know I say this all the time. You totally can. I just have not got around to it. But those are my sort of off the cuff immediate reasons all right so i'm going to put that there first thing i'm going to do is going to build the pot because i can't see any other pot we can use any other one i have is just not going to work i think it's the same pot you can't see it but it's the same pot this monster is in i think the same size yeah it's the same so it is big technically the plant would live in there long term but we will see i do have a couple of top secret products that I'm working on that I'm going to put into this after I finish filming to help boost it. So we will see. But for now, we're going to have to build this. So where's my snippy snip? What we're now going to build is the water reservoir. Like so. Wow, Kaylee can't use a pair of scissors. That's wonderful. So what we've got in here, that's the top bit. It does have instructions, by the way, but honestly, guys, well, not so much nowadays, but I built so many of these in my time. I don't really need to look. It just is what it is. I'm trying to get this sticker off. I hate it when they put stickers like this on. It really annoys me. Let's have a look. Come on, come on. Can I zoom you in for this bit more? Sorry, I know I'm sort of zooming you in, zooming you out, zooming you in, zooming you out. There we go. Let's try this. All right, so that's the straw, which should go onto here. Will it go in the little hole? Come on. Like so. So, come on, make sure it's pushed in nicely. There we go, I just heard it click. That has a little bit of polystyrene at the bottom and that's what's gonna flow up and down this pipe and it's gonna let you see your water level at the top, basically. So to do that, 
I think the top of the pipe is going to be probably have that on, I think. The same on both sides, maybe. Why won't it go on, please? Please go on, please go on. There we go. So that sits on the top. That is then going to insert up here when I find it. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh my God, so simple yet not able. I am not able. There we go. So that's just going to drop through. Ignore that coming out for now. I'm going to put that on the bottom and that is going to sit at the water level. You really do need to make sure you push it, otherwise your water level is going to be inaccurate. You don't have to push it an insane amount, but you get the point. This is your little min and max dial thing. And it just clips on the top. No particular rotation. Doesn't matter. It's cylindrical. And that just sits on the top. So when it's full, you get something like that. Hopefully you can see. And when it's empty, you get nothing at all. And to top it off, it'll make sense in a moment, but this just sits on top. So I'm now going to put this through here. Does it go through that or does it go... Oh, wait a second. I think, guys, that might go on top of it. I can't remember. Here's me saying, literally, did I not say, oh, I don't need the, the instructions, and then here I am. Here I am. I think it must go through like that. Yeah, it does. Okay. There we go. So that's going to sit like that, and then this, when it hits the pot, is where you're going to water, but there's, they give you a really nice, neat cover to go over the top like that look, so that's really cute. So then what we do, we pull this back, not going to be the easiest to tell, but you should see, hopefully, a little gap here where there is a triangular gap for it. And what I have to kind of do, I can't really do this on camera, I just have to hook it under like that. And there you go. So that is now a fully built Lechuza pot. Now, the cool thing about these holes is here, it's not totally advisable to do, but you can actually wedge a moss pole into these holes that you see. But obviously, we don't need to do that because we have a crawler. So... Given that we have a lot of space there, I think I am going to put lecker in the bottom just to save me some pawn because I just think it's going to be insane otherwise. Right, you're not going to see the top of his leaves, but it is what it is. Right, so what I now need to do, I mean, this will be enough, really, what he's grown in. Grown in? Being placed in. This will be enough for the bottom, just a bit of lecker. And as I say, I'm only doing this to save on pawn because pawn is expensive. Lecker is kind of not. So I'm just going to put it in now and it's going to be noisy. There we go. Could have been cleaner lecker, I won't lie. Just gonna pull out some of the extra shizzle that I've found in it. Oh. And that's the problem really. If your stuff isn't super clean, it is gonna collect in the bottom and you're not gonna have access to clean it. And that is my complaint about these pots. There's really nothing you can do. So I've got some in my hair and I'm catching it in my eye. It's very annoying. There we go. Um, yeah, there's, there's really nothing you can do at all, guys. Nothing at all. But, as I say, I'm going to make this sort of temporary because if I can get an L-hole one that is larger, I really will. So, if I just move him out of the way, like so, I'm going to pop him here. And I think, because we have to think about where he's going to crawl, he's probably going to crawl forward. Although he probably won't because of the light in my house, which we will get to later. So, sorry, I'll pull that out of the way my microphone. So, I'm thinking just basic, literally, one side to the other maybe. Maybe we should do it that way just so I can get more of a, a crawl and I will probably build him more towards the back of the pot so that when he crawls forward, he's still got some space uh, and that should be all right. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Before that, I'm going to have to put some pond in and my pond isn't rinsed just to make this even worse. It's not rinsed. So all the problems I just said happen, I'm basically guaranteeing they're going to happen. It's not good. It's not good. And my lecker is also not good. Can you tell how makeshift this is? But at this point, guys, it's more about just getting him established. So we'll see. You might catch me repotting him in four weeks' time <laughs> into an L hole. I really wish I had one, but I don't have a single pot that's large enough. And if I'd prepared, it would be different. What happened? Right, just a little bit on the top. I mean, you probably can't see this, but it is what it is. The higher I plant him up, the safer he's going to be in this, uh, this size of pot. I absolutely do not want to wedge him down, but that should be more than enough. And just when I do water him, I'm going to water around the base, but I'm not going to water across the entire pot. You can sort of do what you want, really. You can either water just in here, especially if you've got some more soil, you want to do it that way. But sometimes, depending on how dry your house is, how humid your house is, you might want to walk across the whole thing. So it really depends. 
But what I think I need to do is I'm going to pick him up really as gently as I can and I'm going to sit him there because that's where I think his root should go. He does have root, it's just not, not great really. I'm thinking I'm going to pot him like this. I'm going to move that bit of liquor for you, little man. I'm going to spread his roots out a bit and I think we're going to pot him like that. So I'm literally just going to have to hold on and pot him somehow. Can you tell I hadn't thought about this, guys? Can you tell? So let's get that over there. Because I'm right-handed, I'm going to need it. Right. Oh, I should have ripped that all off. Can I just rest him on me? Hang on. Oh, my God, where's those scissors? Where are those scissors? Because maybe I can just sort of just cut it. Oh, my God, guys. When you use scissors, um, pro tip, make sure they actually work. Because these do not, because these are rusty old ones. But I only thought I needed to cut a bit of wood with them, so I didn't... Pick my good ones. You know what? I'm just going to have to do it this way. It's just going to have to be annoying. Right. Okay. I'm going to lift him up like that. And he's going to need a bit on top of him. Oh, I can't. I can't get in with this size pot. Oh, I've got nothing to hand. This happened last time. I just did not have enough stuff at all. Hang on, I'm going to have to take him out really quickly and lay him down because we're going to have problems. We're going to have problems. Okay. So, to hold him up again gently as I can, put his roots back in the pot like this. So I'm going to push him to the back as far as I can because I know he's going to crawl forward, right? I'm going to spread his roots out a little bit. It's not in one big clump. Give him some fighting chance. I'm going to hold him roughly where he would go. I'm going to somehow try and meticulously scoop out pawn. But it will not be easy because this guy, funny enough, he is actually a little bit heavy. But what is what it is. I'll rest him for now. I should have really poured more pond in to get to this point, but I did want the roots sort of not sat too close to the top. Close enough, if you know what I mean, but not, not too close. So let's pop that in there. But yeah, this is absolutely not a good idea. Let me tell you straight, using pond that hasn't been rinsed because the dust that comes off this shit is horrible. So take it from me, it is not a good idea. As I say, for four weeks, he will be okay. I'm not entirely worried. He'll, he'll live. He will live to see another day. Right, so I'm going to pop him where he should now need to be. Because one thing doing this, guys, it's quite another thing stabilising him. But I'll zoom you out for that, don't worry. So, keep going. You know what? I think I've got just enough pawn. I'm not even joking. Not even joking. This is bad. This is bad. Bad, 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 bad. Oh no. You know, I said I thought I had enough. I don't even think I've got enough. Hilarious. I mean, I could plant him low, but now I've put the roots too far up, haven't I? So kind of can't do that. I'm just trying to cover the root that's there so it starts to be buried. There we go. I don't want to bury the merry stem at all. I want to sort of keep him out. Oh, guys, it's going quite wrong, you know. And I've got a bag upon in the background. I, I know I, I do hear your, your plight, but not going to go very far, let me tell you. I'm going to have to bite it. My dentist would be fuming. Fuming. Okay. Oh, God, that did literally nothing, didn't it? Let's be honest, that did nothing. Nothing at all. Barely covered the roots. Barely got enough. Love it, love it, love it. Should have planned for it, should have planned for it, because that is quite low. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's enough to keep it alive. It's not that bad, but... And that oh, needs to go down further. See, I need to cover those because I expected more, more from it. What can we do about this, guys? You know what? We're going to have to unplant him. I hate doing this. This is bad. Right. Right, so here's the tea. That's enough pond for me, especially when it's temporary. I'm going to actually have to shovel out some pond here. Let me just get all this out first. Because I'm going to have to shovel it out and put it in something else so that I can plant them deeper, knowing full well I'm not going to put that to the top. So that was extremely unproductive. I won't lie. Rest assured, we will nail it. Now we're going to do this all over again, except now, now, we are going to pop this up a little bit better, I think. So we'll do the same thing as I mentioned previous. I'm going to pop them in lower because there is a pond shortage in here. I'm going to pop him there. I'm still going to do the same thing. I'm going to push him against the back. I'm going to pop him lower down, knowing full well that I need to. I'm still trying to spread the root a bit. I'm going to have to shovel this back in. Oh, God. Where's the smaller shovel? There it is. 
I want to shovel it carefully because I don't want to start losing it on the floor. That would annoy me. I don't see another way of doing this. There we go. It's just not required, is it? I suppose you could say that is a hack if you've got a pot too small. Don't fill it to the top. It's just nobody ever wants to because it doesn't look good, does it? Let's just be honest, it doesn't. It just doesn't look sexy, so... Never mind. Now, if I want to raise this, I can. I could lift it with my hand, but for now, for now, I want to cover the root before I lift it up so that I know that I've covered it. Right, we're getting there now. Lovely. Look at that. Terrible. Right, okay. Now I can probably pour it in myself, but I want to make sure that it's where I want it, so... Again, I don't want to bury this. I want to leave it out so he can crawl because they crawl along a surface. Please do not make that mistake. Oh, there's a little brush I can get in there with to remove the pond in a minute. I'll show you that. It's a really weird hack I found the other day. Right, I'm going to pour this in, in front of it. And I move it around it. And I think, although the, the very back is buried, I think it's fine, you know. However, however, you can see where it wants it buried to. It wants it buried to here, but... I will leave it because I will probably put something decorative on the top of it in a while. We'll see. Right. Now, the problem is, obviously, that's still floppy as hell. We've achieved nothing there. So, my original little stakes that I had, we'll probably have to get bigger ones. Oh, my God. Why do I put everything so far away from me? I have some of these plain green stakes. I think these other ones are, I don't know, probably not enough of them. So, I'm going to try and stake it with this and just hope I don't hit like a bad roof or whatever. I'm going to put it near the petiole so I can sort of do that and then hopefully, ooh, hopefully guys, this isn't going to be a problem. <gasps> oh, that didn't seem good, did it? But that could stick to there. Then we've got this one to stick to this one. And you know what I've forgotten to do? Again, I did this last time. I forgot to grab my string to tie it. <gasps> yep, that snapped, that snapped. That's not good. That's not good. Try again. Gently does it, gently does it, gently, gentle, 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 gentle. I've done it again. Love it. Love that. Is it in there? Yep. <sighs> Seriously. I'll put a short one in. Maybe I can put short ones in to hold it while I go get the tape. The tape? You know what I mean, guys. You know what I mean. There's nothing in front of him, so I'm just put that there for now. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm going to do to hold him here. If I just snap that again, I keep snapping it with bits of wood. When I come to repot this, there's going to be wood everywhere. Right, can I put that there? How can I stop him from falling? When I, I've got to stand up. Oh no. Yes, 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 yes. Right, I'm about to get string. Bear with me, guys, bear with me. Mm -hmm. So potting this guy up really, I would say it was more for rehabilitation purposes than anything else than looking good. Because he just needs some time to grow into himself, you know? To grow into himself. So, can I take this away now? Because I want him to be up like this, you see. It's what I want. What I want, guys. So, I guess I'm just going to have to sort of... <sighs> oh, that's good. Oh, these ones are better than the other ones. How does that work? Right, okay. It's this one needs some as well. I'm going to gently try and get one down this side. That would be great. I promise you, honestly, guys, in two months, this plant's going to look great. It's just getting it there, you know what I mean? Oh, that's gone all the way down. Good, 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 good. Can I just tie that now? This is temporary. I'll make this better in a minute. Just tie this to this one because at the moment, I'm having difficulty because I have to hold on to him and I can't even put things where I want them because he might topple. But now he might not topple. That should keep him nice. Okay. Right, guys, I'm cooking with gas now. I'm going to take this off. For whatever reason, these lighter green uh, stakes, poles, whatever you call them, seem to be better than the darker green ones. It keeps snapping. Oh, that one's quite nice. Love that. See? Please don't fall. Don't fall. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Don't do it. Where did I put the strings? Right, I'm going to have to put it over my arm. My arm? My shoulder is what I meant. I know what I mean, guys, honestly. You think I don't, but I do. I do know some things. I know like seven things. You know that? People say I know nothing. People say I know nothing. I beg to differ. I know at least seven things. You know that? At least. Just don't ask me to list them. Right. Oh, this is quite nice. Right. So if I tie this, again, temporary for now, then it should at least stop toppling over, we think. And if I need more, we're going to need more. I could put two there, couldn't I? Put two, put another one down. 
just to make it even more solid. Ah, yes, literally yes. Right, this is good, this is good. Because I'm sure we've all been there with shit like this, am I right? Maybe not, I don't know. It's because I'm moving something that just hasn't, really I should have waited to pot this if, if I could say, you know, how could I improve the situation? The answer would be to not even pot it yet and to just wait and to let it stabilize itself and grow more upright. It's because it's grown on a lean, I'm now fighting with a lean, um, with a very heavy plant and everything else. Adoria, I will show you this plant. I'm aware you can't say it properly now, but I will show you it in a moment once it's actually stable-ish in the pot. So do not worry. Right, that is okay for now. That's not really moving. This does nothing. This can come out. So all the actual green ones are good. All these horrible dark ones are crap. They are crap, right. So he should be over here, really. So I could, I want to keep him there. I'm gonna get some more things, some more green things, and I will be right back. I think this one should maybe go here. And he's small, so he can just do with one. So we'll just let him lean forward. We're gonna make this look as nice as we possibly can. Will it work? I don't know. But God, we're gonna try. So. Slice this up. Oh, my throat hurts so much. Probably not the best day to film, I won't lie, because it involves talking a lot. And I'm not so good at that when I'm not very well. So tiny at the top, will that help? Yeah. All right, let's tie that. I hate this string so much. I need to find my wonderful Velcro tape, and maybe I will in a minute. It might help me out a little bit. Brace it back over. Come on, don't snap, don't snap. Yes, come on. Okay, good. Oh, it is bending. Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna have to turn this. Right, so our issues lie over on this side. So, can you see what's going on? Yes, you can. I'm going to pre-cut a bit of string because it's quite annoying trying to hold it all together at the same time. But I think I will. I'll, I'm going to hunt in a moment off camera for the green Velcro-y stuff and see if I can get some, even though it's very thick. I think it, for this scenario, it's actually probably perfect. So that probably wants to tie to that. But I almost think that needs two because these things are so heavy. He's such a heavy boy, do you know what I mean? Uh, how about up there, like that? Mm, yeah, I can go for that. I can go for that. So which ones are they? Those two. Ooh, not that one, not that one. These two, like that. Ooh, I can hear Ben on the phone next door. I wonder what he's talking about. Right, so uh, tie that. I mean, it's not gonna look amazing, but it will look better. Right, he needs, he needs sorting out, doesn't he? He's bad. Bad, 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 bad. How about that? There, and then we can retie that because I don't like how I've done it and tie that up there like such. Although I would like to kind of push this more inward. This is literally trial and error, by the way, for anyone wondering, because I don't know if this is even strong enough. Really, I need canes. I don't need these little flimsy things. I need proper canes for this, but it's uh, it's not something I have. Funny enough, Ben took the last couple of canes yesterday for a Strelitzia that had a bit of a lean on. So I don't have them. Right. <sighs> we almost want, don't we, like a very gentle tie at the top, but I'm gonna leave it like that for a second. I wanna show you something that I've been using, right? This is hilarious. So if you've never seen this, before, it looks like a paintbrush, okay? It's not, it's a hoof brush for a horse. But what I've been doing is, when I get pawn places it should not be, I've been brushing it out with this. And it just so happens it's because I've got one in the unit, not for any weird reason. Oh, there's a bit of pawn stuck in there, there's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, that's mega wedge that. But I've just been brushing out of the way, and when you get pawn inside like bits like this in the self-watering thing, really helps to get it out of the way. So if you've got something like that, great. Or just use a makeup brush or whatever. But that's what I've been doing. I've actually been doing a bit of paleontology, guys. And I've been brushing it out of the way. It just helps. Helps, I find, just to get some of that off. Right, we really need quite badly some of this uh, stuff. I mean, we could have just done that, couldn't we? But hmm. let me see if I can find some of this stuff because it really is exactly what we need. So give me one moment. Oh no. I'm basically looking for this, except it's actually double the thickness. Double the thickness, she says. Eh, I can't find it. I can only find a little bit here that I know I stole off something else. Oh, guys, it's really sad. Well, I don't want to buy more. It was quite expensive, but this one might be enough. So what I think I need to do, I wanted to do it on all of them, but I don't think I'm going to be able to, is more or less, I'm going to have to just do this. I don't really see another nice way of it growing, but if I do it further enough down, it'll look okay. It's more about how far up you do it. So if I did it all the way at the top, you're going to get grouping like that. If I did it near the bottom, it might look a bit more natural. Do you see what I'm saying, guys? Do you see? So that, for example, that's not actually going anywhere and it will look semi all right. Again, it's grown in a certain way, so 
not ideal. Let me just tilt you a bit. See how we're looking. Can't give you much more than that, I'm afraid, because it is a big plant and you are really zoomed out as far as you could possibly be zoomed out there. And the further I back, back I move you, I think the worse it'll be. So I don't know what else I can do realistically to help this. So he's grown from back here. I've, I've not even put him in the middle of the pot because obviously I'm an idiot. That's not really how he was supposed to be. But again, it doesn't matter. It's probably temporary. And we've had to just sort of keep him like this. Now, let me talk to you a little bit about the condition he's in because it's not great. So hang on a minute. So he's not in the most amazing condition, right? And genuinely, guys, this is because he's been in the wall and the wall has suffered. He hasn't been fed in I don't know how long. Literally, we're talking years, probably, or at least 12 months minimum. But he has potential because this is the size of me and this is him, right? He's very cute and he's very awesome. Let me tilt him up a bit more because you don't really need to see the bottom of the pot, do you? Let's just be honest. There, a bit better. He's very, very cute. And I, I have every faith that the new leaves are going to come out shorter and stubbier. And all that's going to happen is over time, he's going to get good roots. I'm just going to book cut him because I think personally this might be a new hack, right? When it comes to like propagating, not really propagating crawlers, but just keeping track of your crawlers, right? As they get bigger, butt cut it. That's what I'm officially suggesting because I've never, I've never come up with a way of sorting this out personally. My shit just grows over the ends of pots and it just looks a nightmare. I'm sure we've all been there. I don't want to be doing that. I don't want to be doing that at all. I also don't want to be getting bigger and bigger and bigger pots. I don't want long pots. I don't want anything of the sort. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep butt cutting him. So what's going to happen is he will probably stay here to stabilize a little bit. I mean, I could take him straight home. Just depends. Give him a bit of a clean up. Shit like this, I can't do anything about, obviously. It's just all damage. But he's honestly, I promise you, he's not that bad. Which one's his newest leaf? I think it's this one here. So he has got... The, the, you know what? The newest one is actually healthy. There's nothing bad on him. He's just not as big as he could be. But he has obviously been bigger. But even again, he will have a much better ratio than that. Generally, I shouldn't be showing you petioles petioles, sorry, leaves that are up here. I should be showing them to you about here. So you will get more compact, certainly when I feed them, because I know exactly how this shit goes. If you've had my feed and you've put it on crawlers, you'll probably know why I'm not even worried right now. So he just needs a bit of that. I think my plan is... I'm going to keep him in this. Sorry, I can't bend down anymore. I'm going to keep him in this for a bit. We'll see how he grows. I don't know when I'm going to take him to my house. I might do it sooner. I might do it later. I might just take him today. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We're just going to see how he goes. He should at least start facing nicer directions anyway. And as he does so, I'll just think about pulling off some of these, you know, bits of string or whatever have you. And we're just going to have to monitor him and feed him and let him grow sexy. Other than that though, guys, he's an absolutely gorgeous plant. I promise. He probably doesn't look gorgeous now and I completely get it. I completely get it. But he's beautiful and he is one of my chosen houseplants. And I realise I could have chosen literally anything, but I really like this guy. I always have. I can't even remember where I got him from. It must have been Indonesia or something in 2020. Right? I actually don't remember hauling this one. I don't know where I got him from. But that's him anyway. I did used to sell him in the shop um, and he would sell very well when I had him. I don't think he's rare or anything. It's just more, you don't often get them without the, the silver on them, so. They are still, you know, reasonably desirable, but this is what we're capable of. And because this is our starting point, we should get some nice growth. So I'll leave him for a bit. He's certainly got a bit to grow before I butt cut him again. So we'll see how it goes. I will absolutely update you on this plant. It's just going to be a little while, obviously, because it's going to take him a little while to settle in, get some better roots, grow some better foliage, because that's his oldest leaf. That's why it's hanging a bit stupid. But honestly, guys, he, he can and will look very sexy. I know you probably don't believe me, but look at him. He's not that bad. I pop him there. You can sort of see him. He's really, really, really not that bad. He will be okay. And when he is good looking, he's just going to look so, so good in my house. So that is him. That concludes this video. This is absolutely impossible to film, by the way. So I apologize for all the technical difficulties that I've had. But yeah, I'll update you on him. Um, I don't think this pot's going to be a problem short term. I think it'll be fine. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Links to literally everything you could ever want is down below. My feed for one, which I don't have to hand. It's very annoying. I only have at the moment next to me my original big vats that I used to have to blur out the name of. Um, but links to all that is down below. Links to my merch that I currently am wearing is down below as well. Links to the shop are down below. All the things are down below. Um, I have TikTok, I have Instagram, I have Twitter, I have it all. It's linked on the screen for you right now. And that's it for this week's video, guys. I will love you and leave you. Thank you for accompanying me on this hell of a plant show. And I will see you next week. Bye.